Hey, I'm Jim Kimball, editor of CordCuttingReport.com, and today we're talking about Fubo TV. Fubo TV just added 19 regional Bally Sports Networks, which is great news for NBA and Major League Baseball fans. But all of the Fubo plans and prices have changed, and I want to talk about the pros and the cons if you're thinking about subscribing. The streaming business is pretty volatile, so I'm listing all of the latest prices and packages below so I can keep them updated for you in the days and the months ahead. So Fubo TV is a live TV streaming service that reported having about 1.3 million subscribers in the US at the end of 2022. The service is primarily aimed at cord cutters and sports fans looking for an alternative to cable TV and satellite. Fubo TV has about 151 channels in its pro plan, including local channels such as NBC, ABC, CBS, and Fox. For sports networks, there's ESPN, FS1, FS2, CBS Sports Network, and NFL Network. You can watch live TV on 10 screens at once in your household, on your home Wi-Fi network, so that includes smartphones and tablets. All subscribers get 1,000 hours of cloud DVR space, so you can record anything you want from TV shows to live sporting events. In late December, Fubo TV announced a comprehensive deal with Sinclair Broadcast Group to add the 19 regional Bally sports networks to all Fubo TV plans. Regional sports networks such as Bally Sports and Nessen are available in the entry-level pro plan, and these networks let you watch in-market games that are exclusive to specific TV markets. The addition of Bally Sports Networks is kind of a big deal in the streaming universe because for the last couple of years, only DirecTV Stream had Bally Sports Networks, so cord cutters didn't have a lot of options when it came to watching their favorite baseball team or basketball team. So Fubo TV now has a total of 34 regional sports networks across the US. It includes the AT&T Sportsnet Networks, Marquee Sports Network, MSG, NBC Sports, Sportsnet New York, and Root Sports Northwest. Whether you want these regional sports networks or not, the thing to be aware of is that Fubo charges a regional sports fee across all of its packages. If you live in an area where one regional sports channel is on your plan, expect to see an additional $10.99 a month tacked onto your bill. If you live in an area where there's two regional sports fees in your channel lineup, expect to see an additional $13.99 a month on your bill. Fubo does offer an upscaled 4K version of select live sporting events, but if you want that improved picture resolution, you're gonna have to subscribe to either the Elite channel package or the Premier package. Elite and Premier are Fubo's other two main channel bundles, and they're structured so that you're essentially getting specific add-on bundles to the Pro plan. So the Elite bundle has the News Extra bundle and Fubo Extra all combined to give you a total of about 212 channels. The Premier package includes Fubo Extra, News Plus, and Showtime. One thing you should keep in mind is that Fubo lets you pick your own add-on bundles. So if you wanted the channels that were in Fubo Extra or the Sports Plus package, you can simply add that to the Pro plan and that might save you a few dollars compared to subscribing to Elite or Premier. So let's take a step back and look at a few of the other major players 
in the live TV streaming space. Sling TV remains the most affordable way to get cable sports networks such as ESPN, cable news networks, and entertainment networks. But keep in mind, there's no regional sports networks available on Sling, and local channels are pretty limited. You can get local Fox stations in 18 US markets, and NBC is available in 11 TV markets. Hulu with live TV has local channels, sports, and some regional sports networks, its entry-level plan includes ad-supported subscriptions to Disney Plus and ESPN Plus. YouTube TV is a few dollars cheaper than Hulu at the moment. It has locals, a lot of major sports networks such as ESPN and ACC Network. Its base plan has 128 channels total. It includes unlimited cloud DVR, so you never have to worry about recording space. And it does still offer some regional sports channels. So if you're shopping around, YouTube TV should definitely be on your short list. DirecTV Stream, which I currently do not have a subscription to, that is running pretty much at the top of the price scale at the moment, but it does have comprehensive coverage of both local channels and harder to find regional sports channels that you won't find on many other live TV services. So what's my current takeaway with Fubo? I like this service a lot. It has easy to use menus, it's giving you a robust channel lineup and being able to start up or cancel the service whenever you want does give you some great flexibility. I'm not crazy about the regional sports fees. I think that's part of the sports business that's going to have to be rectified in the years and the months ahead if these sports leagues want to keep their fan base. I've been a Fubo customer on and off since about 2017. I think this year they're definitely taking aim at being the go-to place for regional sports networks and in-market sporting events. In my home market, they're one of the few places where I can get Nessun, which is a network you need if you want to watch Boston Red Sox games or Boston Bruins games when they play at home. But make no mistake, live TV streaming services are getting expensive, especially if you're looking for regional sports channels. In my opinion, it begs the question of whether you need a live TV service year round. So I hope all this information helps you out with deciding which live TV streaming service to try out. I track all the latest prices, channel plans, and specific channels at my website, cordcuttingreport.com. Just head over to the channels hub or the sports hub to track down the information you're looking for. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.